Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the KitchenAid 2 Speed Hand Blender. Hand blenders are good for whipping cream, making mayo and salad dressings. Instead of putting hot foods into a blender, you can put this hand blender directly into the pot and blend the hot foods. It's not a good idea to blend bones or hard things like fruit pits. Also, the blender is not recommended for grinding dry things like coffee beans and spices like nutmeg. The blender is 15 and a half inches long. The blending arm is six inches long and the body is nine and a half inches. The base is two and a half inches across. Just so you know how wide that is, the blade can fit into a coffee cup, but not a mason jar. The cord is very long at five feet. The blender is not very wide, so it can easily fit in your kitchen drawer. There are two speeds, one and two, and just turn to set the speed that you want. Here's the power button. The blending arm is detachable. Just turn it, it comes right off. This blender comes with a jar and lid. There are markings in cups and milliliters. This holds three cups. Put the blender into whatever container you wanna blend and then press the power button. You wanna do this to avoid splashing. The stainless steel blade should not scratch your pots and pans. The hand blender weighs less than two pounds, so it should be easy to handle. Only the stainless steel part up to here should touch whatever you're blending. The plastic area should not touch any liquids. The stainless steel blade is covered to prevent splashing. When you first get the unit, wash the arm attachment, container and lid in warm soapy water or in the dishwasher. The body can be wiped down with a damp cloth and dried. It should never be washed. The model I'm showing you just came with the container and lid. There is another model that comes with a chopper attachment, whisk and storage bag. And I'll put a link to that model right below this video. The instruction manual gives you lots of recipes. You can make frosting, whipped cream, mocha frappe, chocolate mousse, dressings, soups, and dips. Let's try making mayonnaise. Crack one egg, little salt, little sugar, little mustard, fresh lemon juice, and oil. Start out with speed one, and then go up to speed two. The blender is plugged in, put the attachment in the container, and press the on button. You can always hold the container to keep it steady. Leave the head of the blender on the bottom of the container and turn it to speed two. Don't move the head at all until the mayonnaise starts to form. Once the mayonnaise starts to form, then you can move the attachment around. Tilt and lift a little. Once you hear a little resistance, you know the mayonnaise is done. It's nice and thick and it was done very quickly. Really good mayonnaise. Really creamy, thick mayonnaise. So you saw how quick and easy it is to make homemade mayonnaise. Wash the container and the attachment in warm soapy water. Now I'll make whipped cream. Some sugar and a cup of heavy whipping cream. It's very cold, I just took it out of the fridge. Use speed two for about a minute.
it's already at soft peak stage. You don't want to overdo it because otherwise it'll turn into butter. I would mix it a little bit after you blend. So the whipped cream didn't even take a minute. It was very fast. If you're going to be using this container a lot, get a small plastic spatula like this. It's easy to scrape all the ingredients out of the container. Next, I'll make a butternut squash soup and blend it after the soup is cooked. I've sauteed some onions and garlic, add the butternut squash, the liquid, I'm adding some stock, salt, pepper, and I'll cook the squash until it's tender. The squash is tender. Turn the heat off and puree. very big pot and the soup doesn't come up very high on the pot so it's best to put the blender straight down uh, directly on the bottom of the pot and blend like this in each spot if you blend like this you will get some splatter because this is very shallow the best thing to do for blending hot liquids is to use a smaller pot so the soup will come up higher on the pot you can leave the soup chunky or completely puree it smooth the blender does a really nice job of pureeing this soup. It's very smooth. If you want to make it even creamier and richer, add a little bit of half and half or heavy cream. This is a nice healthy soup though because we didn't add any fat except the olive oil to saute the onions and garlic. So you saw how this KitchenAid hand blender worked on the mayonnaise, whipped cream, and butternut squash soup. You can make dips, smoothies, and a variety of things with this blender.